want to play the guitar to gain our lesson in one. Okay, for you to play um, a guitar, you have to have um, musical ideas. And today we'll be talking about keys. We call them musical keys. Yeah, so for you to be a very good guitar player, you need to know what we call keys. And then, these keys range from, in alphabetical order, A to G, and plus accidentals, what we call accidentals. So, we have the A, the key A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, plus accidentals. And what are these accidentals? These accidentals are the sharps, which is written in this form, and the flat, which is written in this form, like the B. And we have the um, natural, which are these already. So, the next thing we need to know is the chromatic. Still under keys. So if we have to write the um, keys, the natural plus the accidentals, we can write them in the form of chromatic. If we say we should write the A chromatic, so it's going to be, we start from A. And the next one will be an A sharp. It is the accidental sharp. And the next one we have a B. B has no sharp, so we go to C. We have the C sharp. We have the D. We have the D sharp. E has no sharp, so we go to the F. We have the S sharp. We have the G, we have the G sharp, we have the A back. So this is A chromatic. And we can count them, we see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Back to this. So, in all, we have 12 keys, which are the A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. And note that B and E has no sharps. So, that's it. So, if we talk about sharp and there is no flat, let's go there now. Um, Yeah, so this sharp can also be represented with um, flat keys. It can, you can call it, sorry, let me just do this for easy understanding. Okay, so we have the A, we have the A sharp, B, C sharp, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Okay, let's start from here. We can see that it's going um, ascending and it's, the sharp is increasing. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp. So, what if it's coming down? We can give it A, A flat, G, G flat, F, F flat. E and this will be E flat, D and this will be D flat, C, C flat, B flat, and then our A back. So on the long run, this and this are the same, this and this are the same, this and this are the same, 
this and these are the same, this and these are the same, the same. So these A sharp and B flat, they are the same key. So if I'm telling you to go to a key A sharp, I'm also saying you should go to B flat. So A sharp and B flat they share the same name. Like. Okay, so B and C flat, C sharp and D flat, D sharp and E flat, E and F flat, F sharp and B flat, G, sorry, G sharp, G flat, and G sharp and E flat. So they share the same name. That is a chromatic on A. You can write them A, A flat, A, B flat, C flat as A chromatic down like this. Or you can write them in sharps. So if you are to write um, the B chromatic, B chromatic. So we have the B. Since we know B has no sharp, so we we'll go to C. Then the C sharp, the D, D sharp, E, E sharp. Sorry, E has no sharp. Then we have the F, the F sharp, we have the G, G sharp, the A, A sharp, and then the B. So you count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and back to the B. Okay, so this is the chromatic and you can write them in flat. This one will be B flat, this one will be A flat. This one be G flat. This one be um, F flat. This one be E flat. And this will be D flat. And this will be C flat. And so on. So you don't touch the natural keys. So that's it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is that. Next thing we need to know is scale. This chromatic is a scale. This is a B chromatic scale. But there are different type of scale. We have like hundred types of scale. So scales are gotten from these chromatic scales. Like the major scale now, for example. When we talk about major scale, we know it to be um, the normal do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Okay, it is gotten from this chromatic. Once you want to um, construct a major scale, okay, we use tone, tone. Semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Well, if you are talking about tone and semitones, when I say you should move a semitone, note that two semitones gives you a tone. And if I say you should move a semitone in a chromatic scale, move a semitone from B, it means you should move to the C. Move a tone, it means two semitones, which will be D. A tone from D will be E. Semitone from E give you F. So when constructing a major scale, we say tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Okay, let's say you want to construct uh, the C major scale, construct C major scale. So we have the chromatic, which will be C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and what? And C bar. Because E and B has a sharp. So we Write a tone here. A tone, sorry. Write your C out. Right? So you move a tone from C, which will give you D. A tone from D, which will give you E. 
a semitone from E give you what? F. A tone from F give you G. A tone from G give you A. A tone from A give you B. And semitone from B give you C. So this is the major scale of C. So this is the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So, okay. So the next thing we need to know is this. Um, this is a chromatic scale. Okay, so we need to know this do. We give this D. Okay, um, if you look at this again, the major scale is gotten from this. So we can have different scales, like a minor scale, which will be in different dimension, which can be toned to, you can have an um, acoustic scale, aeolian scale, different modes, leagues, they are all gotten from chromatic scale. So these are the essential things you need to know.